Hey, Carl Todd Smith. Um, I noticed your question about building the dynamic compass um, and I thought I'll just make a video about it and, and show you how to do it. Um, I've got the resource over here, how to create a compass with all the steps, but understand, I mean, after a long time I revisited it myself and I also needed to refresh myself a little bit. So let's get into this. We're going to be building something like this. Uh, where the, the panorama, the, the floor plan or compass is uh, moving around. So let's do that. So the first step is to import your compass image as a floor plan, um, meaning that we go over here, floor plans, add floor plan, and I just downloaded this image from the internet, uh, compass.png. Open it up. What happens when you create a floor plan is in the skin, automatically it creates a floor plan viewer and then this thing it will actually show the image. So I'll move this to the right side and I go back to the floor plans and over here I'm changing the router rotation from field of view to map. Um, then I'm adding a hotspot to the center of this compass um, and I'll start with something that is more visible and later on uh, you understand that it might be better just to have an empty PNG which is just very transparent um, at all. So for now I'll go over and take a little star like this one and I open this up and I place this inside the center. Um, and so we have the star over here. Um, then we click on the star and we add an action, open panorama. Now we select the panorama that we want it to be moving inside. Um, keep all these things as is, done. And now we've added this action to uh, open the panorama. We are also able to see panel one as a router option here. Once we've set this up, we click on add. It creates this thing over here. And that should already be doing it. Let's see yes so this is already working great you can see the little star um, that's why i usually go for empty png i'll put up these files in the uh, description so you can just download them for free um, now if you would want to change the uh, positions of the north so let's say this is the south that we're looking at then what we can do is we can just change this like so to the south hit preview and you'll see that it spins like that and we see that this is uh, not completely the south yet. Let's try a little harder. Um, okay, this is a little bit of fine tuning here. I don't know if it should be going to the right or not. No, I think it's the other way around. So this is a little bit difficult here. But I mean, the, the best thing is to, when you uh, import the panorama in the first place, to then have it uh, already set to the north, so you don't need to do this anymore at all. But yeah, now you can see it's more or less more going, going to the south. Um, yeah, let's see. And then the next step would be to, in, in the hotspots, replace this with something transparent so we don't see it actually. Uh, empty PNG, it's really just nothing. <laughs> And in the radar itself, um, when we have it over here, we just put the opacity to zero and hit preview. And now we just have it like this. So, hope it's been helpful. Have a great day. And yeah.